not one one week uh, ago now, and uh, yeah, I felt in the end on the climbs, I felt really really bad. I was uh, in the breakaway and in the in the trio, I was in the last position of this group, and I was really fighting when Sagan uh, went full gas there, and yeah. I didn't drop, of course, but uh, yeah, I was full on block there. Sure. We saw you closing gaps with with Boston Hagen as well on a few of the descents. Yeah, before we, uh, I, I missed uh, the the first breakaway with, uh, with Bone and Cancellara on the Tynberg, and after that I had to close a little bit gap, and that that cost a lot of energy. And yeah, that's that's what you uh, what you miss then in the end. And in this in, a, in this kind of races, you have to save every. Uh, Single piece uh, of energy. What's, what's what's possible? Sure. Once you knew it was a sprint in the last two or three kilometers, what was going through your mind? How confident were you? I was I was starting to sprint from uh, too far behind. Yeah. But uh, yeah, I was focusing on uh, on Sagan, but Sagan was also not, not so good today. I think he had not the best legs, and uh, yeah. That's race, and uh, we have a lot of chances now. Uh, still, uh, still open. Are you frustrated with, uh, with how it came? Ah, disappointed. Not frustrated, but uh, of course disappointed. Uh, we are here for winning races, and yeah, now uh, it's uh, it's again a top ten place. It's not bad, but uh, yeah, it's not the sit in the victory. What do you, what can you take? What positives can you take into the next race? Because you're clearly in form. Yeah, I was uh, of course. I, my shape is not not bad, and uh, I hope I can recover quickly now uh, from from this day to uh, to Sunday. And let's let's see what's uh, what's going on on Sunday. I'm really uh, yeah confident for that, and yeah, let's do it.